Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Abdullah Kamil and today I'm going to be showing you how to pick a value from a matrix automatically and use it in other calculations. If you are in any type of business, most likely you get data sent to you from other people. And most people like to use matrices, right? So, um, for example, if uh, like the example you see on the screen, most likely sales, when they send targets to you, uh, monthly targets, they will look something like this. So uh, you have the product categories on the row side and on the column side here, you get the month names. So, so far they sent you Q1 only why people use matrix more than tables now matrix because they are pivoted tables so they are easier to read now uh, how we can pick a data from the table here based on uh, the column and um, the, the row this is what we're going to learn today and uh, so the difference between a table and a matrix is something that you should always have in mind a matrix you um well, let's start with the table so the table when you read the table you read the whole row to you know to get the information for a matrix it's different it's basically you intersect a row with a column so this intersection for example gives us the um, monthly sales target for tablets in february so how we get this twenty thousand automatically so we can use it to compare with actuals for example so um, it is fairly easy once you um, follow the instructions and uh, they are simple instructions. So the first thing you need to do is you need to construct a few lists. Okay. So the lists that you're going to be constructing is basically three lists for the months and five lists for the rows here which are the product category. And uh, we're going to use a feature in Excel that intersects the row with the column to give us the intersection value. Okay, so how we uh, create three lists here. So we're gonna use the name manager and uh, we're gonna do this quickly. So we select, you know, the three months without selecting the product category and we go to formulas uh, bar here and then we go to create from selection under defined names uh, group when you hit create from selection you get the suggestion here to use the top row as names for the lists and this is what we're after so this is going to create three lists each list is going to be for one month once we hit OK, we can go to name manager to make sure that did happen and as you can see here we have three lists each list is for a single month then we go and do the same for the product categories and uh, this time list is going to be created horizontally okay so we go to create from selection again and we hit it and uh, now excel is uh, suggesting that we take the names for the lists from the left side and this is exactly what we're after so we hit okay it's going to create five lists for each product category and it's going to be named uh, likewise so as you can see here each list has been named by the product category and this is what we are after so what is left now is basically to have a function or a feature to intersect both of these uh, lists right as we showed if we intersect this row with this column we get the 20,000 that is the target for tablets in February okay so most likely uh, what we're going to be doing in your uh, calculation um, you're going to have a drop down list okay to select the month so we go to data and uh, we go to data validation and we create a drop down list for the month okay and we select february for example and then we create another list so we can or drop down list to select the product category and we hit OK and we can select now tablets what is left now is to have a way to intersect both tablets with February to get the intersection value now the feature in Excel that does that is basically um, you put the first range and you then you hit space there is no function it's just hit space and then put the other range and uh, if there is an intersection of of these two ranges excel is gonna return that okay so we're gonna say the month and then we're gonna hit space and we're gonna select tablets and this should give us the intersection between these two 
ranges but this is not gonna work and the reason is and as you can see here we're getting null and the reason is um, because Excel doesn't understand that these are lists okay because we're telling Excel you know to take G5 and then space H5 so these are single cells they are not ranges so how to make you know Excel understand that these are names for the lists that we have created this is where uh, it's like when you go abroad to another country right you, you need you need a tl translator if you do not speak the language so we need a translator here to take care of uh, business so we're gonna write uh, we're gonna use a function very important function called indirect so the indirect is going to be our translator. So we're going to say indirect to the value in G5. So this is going to take the value in G5. And the indirect function is going to ask Excel, look for this uh, if you have a name, uh, a list named after this um, value. And then we hit space and we write another indirect for the value in H5. So now we're encapsulating these cell values you know within you know indirect function and the indirect function is going to be translating that to excel uh, so excel will look in name manager instead of just taking you know the value you know directly from the cell now when we hit enter as you can see we get the correct value so we're getting 20,000 and this is exactly the value that we are after so as we explained the function is you write indirect and the cell the first uh, cell value which is the uh, is going to be corresponding to a list in name manager and then you hit space and you write indirect and the other value which is the um, from the product categories and uh, the space between the two ranges here is is what's gonna you know make excel look for an intersection between these two ranges and to make sure that uh, this is happening correctly you can change to any other month and you can see the values change automatically here same goes for uh, if you change to another product category it will always pick the right you know value for uh, your selections now to uh, make this work for you most likely you will be having so this is your target and here maybe your actual and this is here you can write the percentage maybe okay and maybe you have this as a table so let's say we got 19,000 and let's put an exact number let's say 125 now we can divide this by the target so we get the actual to target value percentage as you can see here uh, we're seeing that uh, we got 76 percent you know of our um, sales target this is what we have achieved so if, if you change to other ones here and uh, you can change the value you can see the values of course change and um, when you put the right value for your actuals you get the percentage but of course most likely we'll be constructing a table here to do that for you so uh, this is how to pick a value from a matrix automatically I hope you guys find this uh, video useful and you're gonna use it in your business maybe if you like the video come back again there's uh, other videos coming up soon as well so uh, thank you so much for watching see you next time